Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we got some uh, latest Bitcoin news. Uh, we'll see what my mining rigs over the last did over the last week, and uh, of course we're gonna pick a winner for Bitcoin Fridays. Be back in a bit. Real quick, uh, if you're new here to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. I do something called Bitcoin Fridays where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. You might be a little late for this one, but I do this every week, so don't worry about it. Just make sure you uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell, so that uh, when the next Bitcoin Fridays Enter to Win video comes out, you'll be notified, all right? So with that, let's get into the news. Then we'll pick a winner, and then we'll see what my rigs did. All right, so the news real quick uh, could be huge news as far as I'm concerned. Um, something I've been looking for myself for a little while now. Um, nice operator announces new global digital assets platform plans Bitcoin futures launch. Uh, Intercontinental Exchange, or ICE, the operator of 23 leading global exchanges, including the New York Stock Exchange, has announced plans to create a Microsoft cloud-powered, open and regulated, keyword regulated, global ecosystem for digital assets, in other words, crypto, according to a press release published August 3rd today. Uh, the operator of NICE is forming a new company dubbed BACT, and it will work alongside a marquee group of enterprises that includes BCG, Microsoft, Starbucks, and others to create the new ecosystem. Uh, the intention is to create an integrated platform that enables consumers, merchants, and keyword again, institutional clients, institutional investors, investors, to buy, sell, store, and spend digital assets on a seamless global network, the press release notes. First use cases will be for trading and conversion of Bitcoin against fiat currencies, which ICE notes is currently the most liquid cryptocurrency. Uh, the ecosystem is expected to include federally regulated markets and warehousing alongside merchant and consumer applications. Um, as an initial component of the back offering, Intercontinental Exchange's U.S.-based Futures Exchange and Clearinghouse plan to launch a one-day physically delivered Bitcoin contract along with physical warehousing in November 2018. That's not far away. Uh, subject to CFTC review and approval. Uh, these regula regulated venues will establish new protocols for managing the specific security and settlement requirements of digital currencies. In addition, the Clearinghouse plans to create a separate guarantee fund uh, that will be funded by BACT. Uh, by mo mobilizing trusted market infrastructure, ICE says it intends to design BACT to support transaction flows in the $270 billion digital asset marketplace and facilitate its secure and efficient evolution. Secure, key word there. Uh, investors in back ecosystem are expected to include Microsoft's Venture Capital Arm, Mike Novogratz, Galaxy Digital, Alan Howard, Pantera Capital, and Susquehanna International Group, LLP, among others. Uh, the news confirmed sources in May that had suggested the NICE operator was considering launching uh, physically delivered BTC future contracts distinct from those currently offered on CME and CBOE that are ultimately settled in fiat. Uh, analysts said at the time that physical delivery would open the floodgates to institu institutional capital and potentially result in some big price moves in the crypto markets. Uh, this chimes with Mike's Novogratz recent estimation that a trusted name custodian such as a Japanese bank or HSBC or ICE or Goldman Sachs is what would immediately allow institutional investors to feel comfortable. So that little article right there is, in my opinion, it's huge. Um, and I, I guess only time will tell if, uh, and actually in November, this goes through and approved. This could be the actual um, sign of a bull run, a legit bull run that uh, this market has been looking for all year long now. 
least in the, we're in August, the last eight months. So really good news. Um, just thought you guys would be interested in that. And um, I hope it works out well and uh, institutional money comes in, which there's a ton of it out there. And if that starts flooding in, I guarantee you Bitcoin's going to double, triple, maybe even more. All right, so let's um, let's get in and uh, pick a winner, guys. All right, so let's head over to this video, the Enter to Win video. Let's copy that URL. Head over to the YouTube Random Comment Picker. Paste it in, and let's search. 310 unique comments. Um, again, if you're new here just watching this, I do this every week, so be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you'll be have your chance to win next week, all right, guys? Uh, for everyone that entered, I uh, wish you all the best of luck, okay? Let's pick a winner. Rose ID, good job. All right, Rose. Our first $25 Bitcoin Fridays winner. Let's copy your address. Head over to the wallet. Paste it in. Take away the little brackets. Click send. All right, Rose. Congratulations. Um, if you could, let everyone know down below that you did, in fact, receive that Bitcoin. And uh, I would appreciate that. So now let's head in and see what uh, my rigs did over the last week. Okay, so July 27th through August 2nd, yesterday, we had a grand total of 35.41. Um, I actually didn't do my profit loss over last week, but last week was $40.62. So we were down about $5 uh, as far as the week. Um, that's due in parts, well, due in total, pretty much, to the price of uh, Bitcoin and all the other altcoins dropping here towards the end of that week. Total value mined, 583.46. That was down about $9 uh, week over week against last week's. Uh, we did do 250 a Digibyte, which wasn't much, uh, 778 worth of Bitcoin gold, and 2429 worth of Ethereum. So all in all, decent. Uh, one of the main things I, I know I know I listed in a fiat price, but I also keep a record of the actual amount of coins I mine. You can see that right here. So 1.61 Ethereum Classic this week. Last week I did 1.667. So it's pretty consistent uh, week over week. I actually only started mining that last week and now this week. So it's it's pretty close. So the amount of coins I'm mining is staying the same, which is good, uh, especially the, for the future. Um, when the markets go back up, this total value mine will, you know, just shoot up. So I'm actually kind of mining all this stuff at the lower price, yet I'm still getting the same amount of coins, which ultimately in the end is the uh, is what is important here. Um, so I guess, I guess that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, that's about it for the week recap. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please put them down below. If you could, Rose, again, uh, let everyone know that you did, in fact, receive your Bitcoin and congratulations again. Um, this week is nothing big. I've only got 225 so far this week. Um. Value mine is only up about four dollars, so nothing big. It's only been about 12, 13, well, about 15, 16 hours, I guess, since I uh, finalized the stats from last night. All right, guys, so with that, um, I guess I will see you all in the next one. All right, take care, guys. Bye.